Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Muhammad Amir Hafiz bin Muhammad Razali from RAS 1155E and I will be presenting my internship at Strating Pump Oil Mill In this video, I will explain about the background of the company my position and activities and finally, the conclusion of the internship session GV Holding Berhad, formerly known as Felda Global Ventures Holding Berhad is a global agribusiness and food company in Malaysia uh, with operation worldwide FGV produce palm oil, rubber, oleo oleochemical and sugar product FGV's core businesses include the plantation sector, logistic and support businesses, sugar, integrated agriculture and consumer products It is the third largest palm oil company in the world in term of planted acres FGV manage a land bank of uh, 439,230 uh, hectares in Malaysia and Indonesia Certain Palm Oil Mill started its operation in 1983 In that year, the first manager of Certain Palm Oil Mill was Mr. Muslan bin Marzuki He served until 1986 Times have changed and top leader have changed Now, the Certain Oil Palm Mill has been led by the 15th uh, mill manager Mr. Mofta bin Nordin Certain oil pump mill can run a throughput uh, of 60 tons for 1 hour and 1,400 uh, 1, tons per day uh, This factory has used the capacity of 6 screw presses and has 2 lines to operate, to operate. Uh, this factory also has a total of 83 employees The Certain Pump Oil Mill operates uh, 24 hours a day with two shifts namely morning shift uh, 8am to 8pm uh, night shift uh, 8pm to 8am This is the organization chart of Certain Pump Oil Mill which is led by Mr. Mohtar Benordin as the factory manager and is divided into three sections uh, namely uh, operations, maintenance and administration There are three activities in the factory besides selling and buying palm food uh, First of all, the production of crude palm oil uh, Crude oil processing uh, is done 100% from the factory uh, starting from receiving the palm fruit until it becomes uh, palm oil Second, kernel production Certain palm mills, palm mills uh, only process kernel to be sent uh, to kernel oil processing plant uh, Third, bunch ash fertilizer Excess bunch waste will be put into the ash house uh, to become a source of fertilizer uh, and sold to fertilizer companies During internship, I work as a quality control under my supervisor, Mr. Azlan which is laboratory analyst As a quality control, there are four important parts that need to be emphasized and maintain specification First part is lab uh, Test volatile matter Deterioration of bleach ability index and free fatty acid in crude palm oil and test kernel volatile matter uh, Second, uh, the water treatment section This section is involved in raw water analysis and boiler water analysis Next, the boiler Next, the boiler The boiler only needs to know the basics such as function and 13 boiler installation Lastly, the effluent section uh, needs to be uh, proficient in determining uh, total volatile acid and total alkalinity I will explain the main work in laboratory uh, Free fatty acid determination is important to know uh, the rate of hydrolytic rancidity uh, if, uh, Free fatty acid uh, rate cannot exceed uh, 5% In the lab, uh, we use the traditional method for determination of free fatty acid in palm oil 
is through a uh, titration of the sample against potassium hydroxide in hot 2 propanol solution uh, by using uh, phenethylene as indicated. Next, determination of deterioration of bleachability index (DOBI) for crude palm oil. The DOBI of uh, palm oil indicates the rate of oxidation of the sample and the ease of process processing uh, the palm oil. Uh, a higher Dobby value indicates the fruit is more fresh, ripe, and free of contaminants. Dobby uh, specification are uh, 2.31 and above. Lastly, uh, determination of volatile matter for palm oil samples. Uh, there are two ways to measure uh, volatile matter using an electrical oven and using a moisture analyzer. In the lab, we use moisture analyzer because uh, it saves time. The specification of volatile matter is 0.20. In water treatment, there are two tests, one of which is the JAR test. JAR test is a pilot scale laboratory test that simulates uh, coagulation or flocculation with differing uh, chemical doses. Uh, the purpose of the JAR test is to estimate the minimum uh, coagula coagulant uh, dose required to achieve certain water quality goals. There are three tests uh, in the analysis of raw water which is the chloride test, total hardness test uh, and silica test. Uh, for the boiler water analysis, uh, there are seven tests uh, namely uh, sodium sulfide test, caustic alkalinity, caustic alkalinity test, uh, total hardness test, uh, chloride test, TDS test, uh, phosphate test uh, and uh, silica test. We continue with effluent. Determination of total alkalinity of the effluent sample. Effluent alkalinity, alkalinity is related to the amount of acid required to reach a pH balance point of 4.5 in the system. The determination of total volatile acid involves the acidification of silt distillation to release the volatile acid present in it. This distillate is titrated with sodium hydroxide. The amount of volatile acid uh, present can be calculated. Conclusion is, I can learn a lot from internship such as the task of quality control in maintaining all aspects of product quality. I also learn a lot, a lot about the culture at work always communicating with employees in every department and always maintaining discipline at work. I really enjoy the atmosphere of working at the certain oil mill, certain oil pump mill uh, because all the workers are very friendly and always positive while working.